The feature of mirroring of control information was added to IEC 61850 Edition 2. This supports the possibility to test and measure the performance of a control operation while the device is connected to the system. Let's follow through the steps. A control command is applied to a controllable data object. As soon as the command has been received, the device shall activate the data attribute OP received. The device shall then process the command. If the command is accepted, the data attribute OP OK shall be activated with the same timing as the wired output. The data attribute TOP OK shall be the same shall be the timestamp of the wired output and the OP OK signal. These data attributes are produced independently whether the output is wired or not. The wired output shall not be produced if the function is in mode test block. They allow therefore an evaluation of the function including the performance without producing an output. Let's review how it's possible to test a device that is connected to the system. In our example, we want to test the performance of a main protection that receives sampled values from a merging unit and trips the breaker through a breaker IED over a process bus. In the logical node LPHD of the main protection relay, the data object SIM shall be set to true. The logical device for the protection function shall be set to mode test. And a logical node XCBR for the circuit breaker protection shall be set to the mode test blocked. A test set will send a sampled value with, this, with the same identifications as the ones normally received by the protection ID, but with the simulation flag set to true. The protection ID will now receive the sampled values from the test device and will initiate a trip. The trip is sent as a goose message with the quality flag of the trip signal set to test. The XCBR will receive and process that trip. However, no output will be generated since, since the logical no mode is set to test blocked. The output can be verified through data attribute xcbr.position.opok and the timing can be measured through the data attribute xcbr.pos.topok. Next we'll look at uh, NREF. To provide test inputs, Addition 2 supports the naming of incoming signals in a special reference data object at each logical node known as NREF. These data objects are broken down into two data attributes. One is a reference to the object normally used as an input, and the other is a reference to the data object used for testing. Testing allows us to virtually disconnect the terminal blocks. So to provide an example, we have a logical node with a PTOC. We've got a mode that's set to on. The in reference signal is the phase A current. And the testing portion is the test enable, which is set to false in this example. Let's review the testing that's associated with the NREF signals. Once again, the idea here is to be able to test the system without the influence of the process. So to begin, the LSVS, or the logical node sample values, is set to simulation mode. The LPHD logical node is set to simulation mode. We have the phase time we'll see. A logical node is enabled for operation. The protection trip logical node is enabled for operation. The XCBR circuit breaker logical node is set to test block to prevent the output, the output from operating. Next, the test client sends a sample value message with the simulation flag set. The signal is accepted, triggering a time over current to operate flag, triggering a trip condition operate flag, which in turn triggers the circuit breaker element to operate. The OP received and operate OK are returned back to the test client for validation. And this is all done while the IED is connected to the process. This concludes this section on the mirror control information.